this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you won't miss any delicious food, delicious videos. I post new videos every Monday and Wednesday. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a recipe that I think you guys are going to love because it's been highly, highly requested. I've always made like a bunch of different like vegan meats and stuff like that, but one request that I always, always get is vegan chorizo. And I didn't want to just come up with a recipe like out. I, I do a lot of recipes kind of like on a whim and usually or a lot of times they do turn out well. Um, but I wanted to get this like really, really good. So I decided to do vegan chorizo crumbles and these are not made with vital wheat gluten. So if you have a gluten intolerance, you can make this. I feel like there should have been like a yay sound behind. But anyways. So, uh, yep, let's get veggie. So before we dive into this delicious recipe, I want to first say thank you to our sponsors for today's video, and they are Cooking Gods, and they actually have uh, these measuring cups and these measuring spoons, all stainless steel, really nice, high quality. It comes with, this set actually comes with six different uh, measuring cups, and it also comes with an assortment of measuring spoons and these measuring spoons are actually perfect for like getting into here I'll show you for getting into uh, spice jars you can actually get the large one tablespoon actually into the spice jar because of the awesome shape so that is one thing that is on that is awesome about the products or among a bunch of other stuff and then also comes with this little uh, stainless steel it's not paper it's a stainless steel uh, measuring equivalent like little uh, card that you can find out like what is how much is what because I'm always like going on to Google and like hey Google how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon and how many tablespoons are in a fourth of a cup and stuff like that and even like milliliters and this all has the conversions for you and it has a magnet on the back which you could just stick it onto your refrigerator and then you're all set and you want to glance over you could also wash it all right, so thank you so much, Cooking Gods. There will be a link to their uh, product down below, and also they're gonna be offering you guys 20% off, so don't forget to check them out. So let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. So the first thing that you're gonna need is half of a red onion chopped up, and we're gonna toss that into our blender. We're also gonna be tossing in two tablespoons of tomato paste into our blender. Along with that, we have some apple cider vinegar and soy sauce. The full recipe will link, be linked down below. We're also gonna be adding in all of our spices. We have a ton of spices here. We have nutritional yeast, we have some chili powder, oregano, cumin, poultry seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, um, and anato, and that's all going in there. And then, oh, and I almost forgot, you also want a uh, fourth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. So I'm just gonna press that into the blender. And then this is another, this is one of those optional things. I know some people don't like too much spice. You can do an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I like spice, but this cayenne pepper, this brand is like crazy spicy for some reason. So we're doing an eighth of a teaspoon in there. Again, it can be really spicy, so just check it out. T test it before you add it in there. And if you don't want as much spice, just, just leave it out. Or don't add as much. Oh, and then for our secret ingredients, we have one cup of red enchilada sauce. And this is actually going to give a lot, a lot of that, like, uh, not chipotle, uh, a lot of that chorizo flavor that you would get with like all the peppers and all that good stuff that's already in the sauce so we're going to toss that in there and we're going to blend it up until it's nice and smooth now that that's all nice and pureed i'm actually also going to add in half of a cup of uh, vegetable stock and then we're going to whip it up until it's nice and smooth along with the rest of the stuff Alright, and now that this is 
boiling. I'm actually going to set this down to about a medium high heat just because I don't want it to like splatter all over me. And then we're going to be adding in one cup of TVP. And for those of you guys who don't know what TVP is, TVP is textured vegetable protein, which is like a dehydrated form of a vegetable protein. <laughs> so you can actually find this at most big supermarkets carry them and also health food stores or even online if you can't find it and you can actually this doesn't really taste like anything it looks like cereal it doesn't taste like anything whatever you add to it whatever liquid you add to it that's what it's going to absorb the flavor of actually i'm going to leave it at a medium high heat and then we're just going to let this sort of absorb and we're going to let our tvp get nice and hydrated and soft while I'm letting the sauce absorb into like our TVP and the rest of the stuff sort of just evaporate, this smells so incredible. You guys have to make this. It smells so, so good. I mean, it tastes delicious too, but it just smells awesome. So I've been letting this cook down for about five minutes on medium high heat. And it's actually, it's the liquid has evaporated a lot and absorbed into the actual TVP. Um, you can let it absorb even more and evaporate even more and let it be more dry. But I like mine to be somewhere around this point where it still has like enough juice, like of, of the juices that you can like really, really uh, just like toss it into anything. Like at this point, I can use this for tacos, which I'm going to actually make. And that's what I'm actually going to be making with these. You can do tacos, you can do tamales and fill your tamales with this. You can toss this on top of a salad if you want, you know what I mean? Do a veggie wrap, some sort of burrito, whatever you like. So this is pretty much it. This is it. And like I said, you can keep cooking it down a little further so that even more of the sauce evaporates. But I love it just as is like this right now and it smells incredible did i tell you yes i did but it smells awesome so what do i do with my chorizo browns well you can put it on a taco and like i said i like to keep it a little more on the juicier side just because i do like to put it in tacos and stuff like that so just plop it onto your taco and then you put whatever you want on the rest of it so i like to add a little bit of uh what do you call this <laughs> some avocado on the side and then a little bit of green onion even though i know that's not like a thing that people normally do to um tacos but hey it doesn't have to be anything traditional around here you know and then add in a little sprig of some cilantro even though my cilantro is like like, lady, uh, I'm ready to go. I'm past my prime, but who cares? It's still delicious, and uh, yeah, we're still gonna use it. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Rose, what about the taste test cam? You gonna do a taste test cam? You made tacos? Don't worry, I'm gonna taste it on its own first. Woo! Oh, yeah. I know, you're like, did she just use her hands? Yep. Yeah, I did. Mmm. It's so good and spicy. My new phone is going all crazy with my new little ringtone. I'm going to eat it with the taco too. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> it's Thursday. And it's about to be Taco Thursday, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm. And then this is like, and this is so simple to make. And then, and this is so simple to make really fast. It's gluten-free. And if you just whip it up with a taco like this, such a simple, simple taco, it makes it taste so delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. So that was that, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the hashtag Team Veggie Rolls. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, I would love to know what you think. And I would love to see what you made. And I would talk
talk to you guys very, very soon.